हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो एपल रिसेंटली रिलीज आई ओ एस सिक्सटीन डॉट वन बीटा टू बिल्ड एंड दिस वीडियो विल शो यू गाइज वॉट ऑल चेंजेस एपल हैव डन विद आई ओ एस सिक्सटीन डॉट वन बीटा टू सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो हियर आई हैव माई आई फोन थर्टीन इफ यू गो डू दिस सेटिंग्स लेट मी शो यू दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन टैपिंग ऑन अबाउट सेक्शन हियर यू कैन सी आई ओ एस वर्जन इज सिक्सटीन डॉट वन एंड दिस इज द बिल्ड नंबर विच इज टू जीरो बी फाइव जीरो फाइव जीरो एफ एंड आई ऑल्सो फॉर्ड टू टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट बट आई गेस प्रीवियस मॉडर्न फॉर्मवेयर वॉज टू डॉट नाइन बट नाउ इट्स टू डॉट वन वन If you are the one who have iPhone 13 and you want to try out beta builds then what you can do is you need to open up Safari and on Safari you need to open one website called beta.apple.com from here just download the profile and install it on your device once that is installed you can reboot your device and check for OTA update you will get the latest beta on your device so i was running iOS 16.0 stable build i already had the beta profile but i wasn't on iOS 16.1 beta 1 so the update size for me was 5.04 gb and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video and now let's talk about the benchmark results so i did benchmark testing on stable build and after that on beta 2 also so these are the scores of beta 2 wherein single core have scored 1740 and multi core have scored 4690 Towards the left hand side these are the scores on stable build wherein single core had scored 1735 and 4620 with multi core so almost similar scores not much of difference here and with antutu benchmark application beta 2 has scored 7,95,428 but stable build scores were 7,93,872 so here slight improvements can be seen in the benchmark results Okay now talking about some of the changes which I found out after installing iOS 16.1 beta 2 first let's talk about the home screen and the lock screen so I'll show you few changes what they have done here so here you can see this is the lock screen and now if you long press on the lock screen and if you tap on customize instead of getting that different pop up towards the bottom side wherein we had two options to set wallpaper pair and the second option to customize the home screen now we have both these options at one page that process was bit different because apple wanted you to first customize the lock screen and then the home screen but now if you long press you get both these options depending on what you want to customize you can choose between those two things so if i want to customize the lock screen i just tap lock screen and if i had to customize the home screen i can just tap on home screen now things have been made bit easy on ios 16.1 beta 2 but the same layout will appear if you try to add a new home screen or the lock screen so for example let's add this one here and tapping on add So here you can see we have this similar layout which we used to see on previous builds while customizing the lock screen. So this change have only been done if you are customizing the existing home screen. And another change which I noticed was layer to lock screen. So I'll show you a screenshot while charging we do have different animation. On the previous build we just used to see this. On previous build we just used to see the huge battery bar. and bottom side it used to be written how much is the battery percentage but after this update i have a screenshot let me show you that it only shows the battery percentage so this was the screenshot after the update and this is how it used to look before updating and now live activities also do appear on the lock screen after this update though i had never checked out this but i did find out on internet the support of live activities on the lock screen there's another change which i did notice and that's layer to the screenshot so if i take a screenshot now on beta 2 and if i open it right away tapping on done now the options pops up from the left top corner but on previous build these used to appear from the bottom and i think that was more convenient if you're using your device with one hand instead of moving your hand towards the top side we had the easy access and the options towards the bottom side so let me show you i have a screenshot of that also so this is the screenshot which i had taken on the previous build and this is how it used to appear that time for me personally i used to like this type of pop up from the bottom side and one of the major change what apple have got on ios 16.1 beta 2 is related to this battery bar in the status bar so if you guys remember on ios 16 apple did add the battery percentage in the battery bar but that graphics were not dynamic but now you can see the graphics of the battery bar are also dynamic and they do get change according to the percentage so this is one major change what apple have done with ios 16.1 beta 2 here you can see this screenshot was taken on previous build wherein battery bar graphics were not dynamic 
and there's slight change also to be seen in the font of battery bar previously font was a bit thinner compared to the current font what we get to see in the battery bar and after that there's also minor change which i found out and that's under the battery section before it used to appear only battery health here now they have mentioned battery health and charging which has these features of optimized battery charging peak performance capability and as usual it shows the battery maximum capacity so guys these were some of the changes which i have noticed on my iphone 13 but there's a weird issue with my device i'm not sure it's related to the os update or it's related to some specific application so here you can see i have these two applications and these two applications i cannot remove them from the home screen even if i tap on edit screen i can move these applications to different screen but i am not able to remove this so as you all know i'm new to ios if someone is aware about this thing do let me know whether it's an issue with app or it's an issue with the beta 2 other than these two applications i am able to remove all the applications but i don't know for some reason these two applications doesn't get removed from the home screen so guys this was the quick look on the newer build of ios 16.1 beta 2 if i find out more changes i'll update you guys in my upcoming videos of ios updates i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day